Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to Product Review, the only channel where you get a variety of product reviews including devices, software and several web-based applications. I also showcase how to do videos, tips and strategies, top 10 videos and I explain several tech related concepts in depth. Now there's been one problem that had been bothering me, nagging me for quite some time. I use Adobe Premiere Pro for my editing as a software. And one problem that I've always noticed and uh, really got perplexed in understanding what is the solution for this was that whenever I would export a video, two out of five times there would be an error. There would be an audio error. It would say audio cannot be rendered. Now I initially assumed and most likely everybody would do that. I thought there was something wrong with my settings. I changed all the audio settings. I changed the bitrate. I change the frequency, nothing would happen. And uh, it will give me an error and then it says error code 6. As if error code 6 is going to uh, somehow tell uh, people using Premiere Pro what is the exact problem. Error code 6 actually means nothing. I looked up error code 6, couldn't get anything. And then I looked at all the forums. I looked at all the Adobe forums and that I think was a bigger waste of time. Because every time you are in contact with the Adobe guy, now what that guy would do, most probably he is not a tech guy. He is in some marketing or some other department. So first of all, he'll ask you for a screenshot. Then he'll ask you for the video. Then he'll ask you how many audios, audio tracks are using. And then he'll ask you what is the bit rate of each. What is the frequency of each audio. And he'll ask us so many questions that I sometimes feel that it is much easier to find out the solution ourselves than talk to these guys. And that too, at the end of it, they'll say, I'll pass it on to my tech guy and he will come back and reply. And then there is no reply at all. Most of them, in even in Adobe, do not know the problem. This is clearly a bug. And how did I discover this bug? The bug was, once I exported this video, I couldn't get any results. So what I did, I deleted all the clips except one which I had shot through my handycam and the audio was also that of the handycam. So there was no question of bitrate not matching. I deleted the sequence, I created a new sequence and I dropped in this clip. Obviously the sequence setting and the clip setting will match because there was only one clip in it. And the audio was also recorded in the same handycam. So there was no external source of audio. Again it will not export. And then I realized there was some problem with the software. And then I looked up some of the older projects which had rendered, they would render fine. But this would not render properly. And I really didn't have any idea. I was almost on the verge of giving up when suddenly, totally by coincidence, trial and error, I was able to arrive at a solution. The best possible solution, the simplest solution which works every time I get this error. And this is how I did it. So as you can see, my Premiere Pro project is open and you can see there are a lot of clips here. In fact, it had at least uh, five to six tracks. I have brought all the clips to one track. This is the clip which I had shot through my Handycam and uh, I use a green screen. This is the background of the green screen. I have removed the green screen and I use the background here. And again, then there is this Mac. This is the Mac screen recording. They're all in different bit rates. Initially, I thought it was a problem, but it was not a problem. And then I have an audio track separately here. And uh, this is the basic uh, background music I have. And huge, huge one. And this lasted almost 36 minutes. I really didn't know what to do. And this is what happened. When I went to File, Export, Media, and I didn't do anything. And look at what happens when I export. Wow, I get an error. Error compiling movie. Export error. Unable to create audio renderer. And writing with blah blah blah. All this nonsense which none of us will really understand. And then error code 6. What a beauty. Error code 6 as if we will know what error code 6 actually means and implies and we will be able to solve the video. So like many others who had been facing this problem, I hit OK. And I really didn't know what to do. And this is the solution I arrived at. Very simple solution. I quit the export. Then I save this project. 
and I save it in my desktop. So save the project in your desktop. No other folder, desktop. I already have it here. Let me delete it. So save it in your desktop. So the project got saved in the desktop. Now go back to export media. And now make sure that your project is exported to the desktop. So destination is desktop. So remember the project is saved in desktop. And the destination of the exported file should also be desktop. And then what happens? Export. Voila! It works. So let me cancel this since I've already done it. So this is the solution to this amazing problem, which is clearly a bug in Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is 2017. Can you beat that? They still have bugs. 2017. And whatever update they've given us till now has not removed this bug. This is the workaround. And I hope Adobe people are listening. Hello, Adobe people. This is for you. Please get this bug removed. We don't want to go through this workaround and dumping things in my desktop. That's going to be a very, very bad software. And in fact, I was on, almost on the verge of quitting Adobe Premiere Pro and working with Final Cut Pro about which I have no clue. So I had to buy that and I had to learn how to do that. I get it was a big learning curve and I didn't really want to do that because I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro for at least three and a half months and I've been able to know many of the things in it. And I didn't want to quit that, but this error was giving me a problem and this is how I solved it. So I hope this video helped you in solving your problem. If you found a similar problem, save the project in the desktop, export it into the desktop, the problem will vanish. The same audio files now will not give you any error. So with that, I conclude this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. It is your enthusiasm. It is your support that we all need to make our channels work. It makes us and motivates us to make great videos, wonderful videos, videos on all the problems related to tech. So in case you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please do hit the like button. We need your support. We need your approval to make our channel grow. And we're not here to make money. I have not made my money in the last three years of working on my projects. I've got another channel, Chemistry Tutorial, that I started three years back. This channel is very new. I started in Feb 2017. So here, the, the purpose of growing a channel is not to you know, uh, make money, it is because we enjoy doing this. And when we enjoy doing what we do, and at the same time, we get an approval from viewers like you, it really, really helps us a lot. So if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and also subscribe. So with that, I sign off. This is Kalyan Kumar signing off. Have a great day. Goodbye. And thank you for watching.